What's happening everybody? Frank Visconti, Boa Evolutions. Just wanted to do a quick video today, show you guys some uh show you guys some fine line stuff that was produced here last year. Uh fine line, this is actually a uh this is a co-dominant trait. Um I ended up adding this into my collection uh, within the last couple years. Basically what it does, this is pure Colombian, pure Imperator. It um uh, Basically what it does is it cleans up the whole animal. It uh, basically makes it like a nice, the background color, basically like a, like a nice cream color. Um, it reduces the saddles down to, you know, the name basically fine line. It gives it these nice tiny little, you know, fine line saddles. And, you know, like I said, this is pure Imperator. There's no, you know, nothing else in it. Pure Colombian. Yeah, I just think it's just a beautiful trait um, I've produced uh, so far I've produced one litter I produced it was from a uh, male fine line to a female potential dominant hypo um, I got a small litter I only ended up getting about 15 babies uh, the couple animals I'm going to show you today are some of the ones that I deem to be some of the best looking babies out of the litter so I got some real nice looking ones <laughs> Uh, these two here, these are actually two girls that were produced. I'm going to zoom in here so you can kind of get a get a look at this. Check out the uh, check out the color, man. Check out the background color on these things. Let me stretch it out a little bit so you can get a good a good look. Look how clean these things came out. really cool stuff her and her sister these were the two that I thought were you know some of the best out of the litter this one came out real nice real light color super clean um, her sister which is right here she looks just as good as she does real nice and clean real crisp look at that for just to be in a pure Colombian I, I love these fine lines. I think these things are going to make some uh, some beautiful morphs here in the future. Let's stretch this little girl out so you can see her. <laughs> Got nice and clean that came out. So I ended up holding back, uh, I hold back probably, I, I think it was five from this litter. I ended up holding back, uh, I think, three fine lines and two hypo fine lines. I'll show you the two hypo fine lines here in a second. Let's see if we can get a good, uh, a good side shot. Look at that, just for being pure Colombian. Once we start mixing these things with other different, uh, other different Colombian stuff, oh, these these things are just gonna be outrageous. Real nice, healthy animals. This actually originated from Jeff Ronnie um, years ago. I seen he started working with these things. I don't know how much he does with them uh, recently. I actually got lucky enough that I knew somebody who ended up getting a pair of them and uh produced a litter. I ended up buying uh I ended up buying quite a few from that litter. I bought probably three quarters of the litter. Um only because I was waiting for years to get these things. You know, I always seen them, I always thought they had potential. And you know, I got lucky enough this year where I produced my first litter and these are the babies that popped out. Super happy. I mean, I, I couldn't be happier with the way these things came out. Let's see what her sister's up to here. Kind of zoom in on the body a little bit. You know, it's so nice doing the video too because you can actually see, you know, there's no 
there's no Photoshop going on. There's there's nothing happening. I mean, you're seeing it just the way that I'm looking at it. I mean, look at them two animals. I'll show you the two. Uh, I'll show you the two hypos that ended up popping out. I think the hypos came out really interesting. Really intensified the color. Um, let's see for yourself here in a second. This is a uh, this is one of the boys that I ended up holding back. Made the color just super crisp. As far as I know, I don't think there's been anybody yet to uh, to produce hypo fine lines. As far as I know, um, I could be wrong. But I do believe that this is the first uh, the first litter of of true hypo fine lines that's out there. Now, hypomelanistic that's a codominant gene. Fine line is a codominant gene as well. So I think that these two I I do honestly think that we ended up hitting a double codom on these. Let's see if we can stretch them out. That way you can get another a little better look. That's the one boy. And his brother, which is right here. I think his brother came out really unique looking too. Try to stretch him out a little bit for you. You know, super clean. It almost ended up taking the saddles, uh, that brown characteristic that uh, that a hypo holds. It almost ended up turning it to like a, uh, almost to like a real, almost like a real unique, you know, orangish brownish. But whatever the case happened, it's definitely a great mix. See if we can lift him up and you can kind of see if we can get you get you a side shot here. Look at that. The cool thing about these things too is they actually hold this color as they uh as they age. I got an animal from uh I got an animal from a couple years ago that's actually right here. I'll slide this box open so you can see. Now this is a couple year old animal. And she ended up holding the she ended up holding all the colors from when she was a baby. I mean look how clean this thing is. You know, this is just pure Colombian. This is just fine line Colombian. Codominant trait. You know, whatever you take, whatever you breed a fine line to, you're gonna you know, you're gonna get fine lines out of it. I mean look how look how nice and clean that came out. I mean it almost looks if you look at the tail and you look at the you know the background coloration in the body, it almost looks like it has almost like a jungle tint to it. But I just figured I would uh I just figured I'd show you guys a couple of the uh, couple of the fine line things I got going on. I actually do have another uh I do have another four 
adult and sub-adult fine lines. Um, a couple of them are in a shed. And these were the nicest looking of the group today. So I figured I'd uh, figured I'd show you guys uh, show you guys some of the fine line stuff, and you know I hope you enjoyed it. I will uh, I will be showing some more stuff here in the near future. Um, other than that, I hope you guys have a good day. Frank Visconti, Boa Evolutions. Take care.